Yo, yo, yo. This is Stars with Magic, where we talk about the stars with magic. I'm magic. And today we're talking about the Virgo man, all right? So, I'm just going to go into it, okay? The Virgo man, he's a shy guy. He's a shy kind of guy. Um, he's not always, um, he's easy to talk to though, you know, if you are the shy type of female, even if you're not the shy type of female, you'll notice that this guy is so unintimidating, not intimidating, um, in any way, really, for the most part. Um, you could say that these guys are down to earth, maybe. It depends. If they maybe have like some strong Libra in their chart or maybe like if they have like strong air in their chart they might not be so down to earth but or maybe even some fire. Um, but for the most part these guys are really um, shy and they're very decent, right? And um, if they're not surrounded by a bunch of corrupt individuals, <clears throat> you'll find that generally the Virgo man is a very, he's a pretty, um, he's a wholesome kind of dude, you know what I mean? He's not um, <clears throat> corrupt, you know what I mean? Some people would say, you know, virginal, because I guess they're represented by the virgin or whatever, Virgo, but these people are not necessarily virginal. They're really just, um, <clears throat> for the most part, I would assume it all comes from like a very strong moral compass or, you know, just a very, a, you know, a very aligned moral compass. I don't know. There's, there's like a, I would assume from, since everything, from what everything I've been hearing, Where's my mind today? Um, for the most part, Virgos have a very strong, you know, moral, ethic code. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so, you know, as a, um, as a Taurus woman, you know, I feel like I can understand the Virgo man a little bit better than some others could, um, even though in some ways we're pretty different. Um, there are a lot of similarities between Taurus and Virgo in the sense that, for the most part, Taurus individuals are very, you know, their moral, their morals are pretty aligned with the same type of things that Virgo is, right? They're very, also very traditional. They're also very, um, there could be like some other, some other kind of like underlying spiritual compatibility right like Virgo for the most part you wouldn't necessarily find them marrying somebody from like a totally different spiritual background you know what I mean like these are the types of people that'll probably maybe marry somebody that <clears throat> would have a lot of similar a similar kind of background you know what I mean um Anything that is too far out of what Virgo finds to be familiar with their own childhood or their own upbringing, um, if it's too different from their moral upbringing, they might not be too attracted to it, right? Um, and see, what's funny is that even though the Virgo man can really appreciate um, a beautiful woman, it takes a lot more than just like a, a flirtiness or a connection, like Virgos, um, you know, I, I hear a lot of people saying that they're, you know, they're um, mutable earth, right, changeable, and, um, you know, the opposite sign is Pisces, you know, so, and uh, I'm hearing this similarity between Taurus and Virgo, where they both have really high standards and 
this isn't a compatibility video for like Taurus and Virgo but the more that I really look into Virgo and Taurus um, the more I really notice like the similarities right but on a very basic level I feel like their motivations are pretty different um, but anyways Virgo men um, they'll let you, if you know in a romantic sense they'll let you know that they like you in a very subtle way these are not the types of dudes to really um, <clears throat> like start a relationship with somebody that they just met you know what I mean these are not the types of guys to go walking up to a chick and be like yo what's up you know I think like damn you know you're fine you know can I get your number you know oh yeah you're beautiful oh pff, yeah I would love to take you out that is not Virgo the Virgo man would probably f he might admire the type of guy who could do that but he himself does not see the point in doing stuff like that you know the Virgo man might be like hmm wow you know that takes a lot of confidence like I definitely would have to really 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 build up that confidence before I was able to do something like that right but then they might realize that like you might just build up all that confidence to approach a chick who ends up being crazy right and you don't even have to be the most crazy person out there for a Virgo to think that you are a little bit too crazy right Virgo Virgo likes people who truly are what you would call maybe righteous you know like the righteous type of person I see a lot of connections and a lot of attraction between Virgos and the Bible and like you know maybe Christian Christian path lifestyle that kind of thing and um, you know so you'll find that even though these guys can really connect with all types of females and really want to date all types and, and end up dating all types of females the types of females that I think they end up really like falling for <clears throat> are the types of females that really are almost like their idea of perfection right she's got to be this untouched gentle goddess of love that you know even when she's angry you know she's still such a gentle goddess right <laughs> like <laughs> sorry um you know so i see a lot of um you know virgo staying single for a very long time because it takes it takes time to find um somebody who really fits into their their category of what they would actually want uh in their life right and the re I feel like the reason why they go for these types of people is because me <clears throat> male or female, right, man or woman, um, gay or straight, I guess, um, that they are, s oh yeah, well yeah, gay or straight, <clears throat> they're very, very sensitive people, you know, and when you are not a really righteous person or if you let's say are not truly that vision of like you know this gentle untouched pure goddess whatever not necessarily like literally untouched but like untouched mentally you know what i mean like not corrupt you know um like virgo's expectations like they can be a little bit high but they'll even take you if you're the total opposite of that and they feel like one day they could turn you into that gentle goddess of purity and love <laughs> um but yeah you know virgos are very you know ultimately they're always aiming for perfection but they'll take you where you're at you know what i mean they they kind of share that with pisces in the sense that like even if you're not that perfect person they'll still 
they'll still want, if they believe that they could turn you into that, um, then they'll, they might think about it, right? But you've got to be, it's, it's got to be just right, right? The timing has got to be perfect, you know? And like any, like anybody else, the Virgo person can be very in tune with synchronicity, right? So if they feel like, you know, let's say they meet that perfect person or they think that they met somebody that could be turned into that perfect person or whatever. If they feel like the environment, you know, or, you know, God, or if they feel like, you know, like these people think so much that they will take every element into account before really making a decision and even when they do make a decision they real they like they are not the types of people to be like oh well I can never change my mind because that's not the right thing to do they truly um they're somewhat delicate people um not saying weak but I'm saying their balance is delicate maybe Maybe their inner balance is so delicate because of their mental, um, their, their attention to detail or their over, yeah, yeah. I think because if there were problems in the relationship, they wouldn't be able to stop thinking about it. That's why they go for that perfect person, right? Because, you know, sometimes, like Pisces, their they're opposite sign. <clears throat> Pisces can be very delusional. And I hear that Virgo can be as well. But Pisces is very delusional in the sense that they can enter into denial a lot about the people that they love and the, the relationships that they're in. And 